Hey, what's up guys? This little frustrating thing has happened to me also with my PS1 emulator on Raspberry Pi. Stay tuned, I'm going to show you how to fix that on Cheat Geeks Gaming. Shut up and sit down. Alright guys, so you can see I'm actually connected to my network and you can check out my other video on how to do that. Um, so you just connect with your Wi-Fi. So basically on this PC, I'm going to type in backslash backslash RetroPie in all caps. Uh, and that's going to connect me to my RetroPie. Um, you can also select the USB option. Uh, so if you want to um, transfer this USB, you can do that as well. So if you're using your USB to transfer ROMs, you can also transfer your BIOS there as well. So here's my USB, and here's my network. You can see um, RetroPie, and then the BIOS menu, and then the BIOS menu uh, from RetroPie via Wi-Fi. So I'm going to take my SCPH1001, I'm going to drag and drop in there. I'm just going to click on there, and you can see that there is no BIOS in there right now. So I'm just going to drag and drop. and there's my BIOS and there's no BIOS in the USB one either so again you can use your USB or uh, transfer over the Wi-Fi and I, I like using the Wi-Fi option because it's easier to add ROMs and everything just right over the internet and it does take a little longer but um, it's much more convenient so here's my PSX folder. You can see I already dropped uh, drag and drop Crash Bandicoot in there. Um, if you need help organizing your ROMs, I do have another video on how to get those ROMs to play. Okay, here's my USB. So same thing. So there's one ROM in there each. Now, I will include a link on where to get this PS1 BIOS at the bottom. You can download that, um, or you can search the, just do a Google search for PS1 emulator or PSX BIOS. All right, guys, so from this menu, I'm going to go ahead and hit start. Go down to the quit. I'm going to click on restart emulation station. Yes, really? We're going to let that reboot. And once it reboots, we're going to go back to our PlayStation emulator. We're going to hit A. Hit A again. And we're going to select Crash Bandicoot. Let's have a drum roll, please. Boom, just like that. All right, guys, so if you have any questions about um, adding ROMs to your Raspberry Pi 3 or about this video uh, just comment down below if you want to see more on emulation as well or Raspberry Pi 3 also check out the link below where I included those uh, PS1 BIOS you can download that uh, you can also do a web search on it thanks for watching um, and please hit like and subscribe check us out on Twitter at Cheat Geeks Games or Instagram at Cheat Geeks Gaming thank you guys